It's a renovation project of historic proportions. Christ and St. Luke's Episcopal Church in Norfolk is being brought back to its former glory. But it's not the preservation of the building that brought us there today. Instead, it's what's there, what they're improving inside. 13 News Now anchor Philip Townsend stopped by to see the overhaul of what Mozart called the king of instruments. New at 6, the church's pipe board. Right now, Kevin Kwan gets by on this digital organ. But he knows this temporary set of keys and the sounds of construction they're covering will be gone in a matter of months. And so I think people are really gonna not only hear the sound different, but feel the sound difference. That's because Christ and St. Luke's Episcopal Church here in Norfolk is in the middle of a major pipe organ overhaul. This is really ground zero for where uh, the organ lives. This is one of two chambers. The other one is across the way right there. By February, the chambers will be filled with thousands of pipes ranging from 32 feet long to the size of a pencil. It's not necessarily a lost art, but it's not something that's offered anywhere in Hampton Roads. I love my job. That's why they brought in Phil Carpenter with Folly Baker Inc. They're a company based out of Connecticut that specializes in organ rebuilds. The thing I like about it is you can be doing something different every day. It's woodworking, electronics, and metalwork all together. Not to mention the logistics behind the maze of moving pieces, most of which are still laid out over the pews. And that all comes together to form that sound that you hear. It's a sound Kevin can't wait to create. But for now, his digital organ will have to make do. In Norfolk, I'm Philip Townsend for 13 News Net.